So the market cap is two point one six eight trillion dollars. And now the market. Oh, oh, it went to zero. Welcome, my friends. Welcome to the Capital Allocation Channel. Did you see that rug pull, the Squid Games rug pull? That was absolutely epic. I feel really bad for these people who just uh, got completely crushed. It's quite funny, though. But anyway, let's get right into the charts. So Bitcoin is sitting here at all-time highs. Absolutely incredible. Trading view technical indicator is a strong buy, and there is no telling where we can go from here. There is essentially nothing but clear skies ahead so we really don't know this bull flag did play out perfectly though we came down consolidated bounced right off this 20 ema and came straight back up to all-time highs so yeah it's hard to say now there's no clear pattern we're up here at all-time highs it's super bullish and even if we get a pullback it's looking really really good Ethereum, now this is just a crazy move. I mean, it's just trending up in this straight channel here. Again, another strong strong buy on the technicals. It does look like we have room for a pullback here. The pullbacks have been super small, though. Uh, we're up here towards the top of this channel. I wouldn't be surprised to get a pullback uh, towards the bottom of that channel, but it's still super bullish. This is crazy pattern how how tightly this is trending upwards so yeah i'm i'm holding at the moment obviously none of this is investment advice and your own strategy is your own i'm just going over the charts telling everyone what i see but if anything i would expect maybe a slight pullback and we could be going higher, but I wouldn't expect a downturn until we have clear confirmation breaking below the previous high or breaking below this channel. And then only until then, uh, that would be when I would change my mind that this could go lower. But at the moment, again, we have a strong buy here. XRP. So XRP, this pennant pattern played out. Uh, we came up, broke out of this pennant. Uh, this is really interesting. Here you see multiple concepts converging in an area. So you have this pennant, it broke out, and then it's coming and it's back testing the top of this pennant, which was before resistance, now becoming support. But in that same area, you have that 20 EMA. And here you're getting uh, almost a hammer candle coming out of that with a strong bullish candle. So here we've got a buy. Um, this one, so we're in an uptrend here. Uh, the the next resistance would really be around a dollar forty. So yeah, uh, with this one, I'm more watching Bitcoin. I think this is more dependent on the overall market. Uh, so I'll be watching Bitcoin and Ethereum closely and. Uh, I, I would expect XRP would follow those two pretty closely at this point. So Monero, again, we have a similar pattern here. We have this uh, this pennant, this triangle pattern, broke out, consolidated. Here we were below the EMA, though. Um, but on the technicals, we have a strong buy. I'm not so sure if I agree with that. Uh, we do have some resistance here. This thing's just been moving slow, chopping around. Um, this does look like a good pattern here. Again, we're bouncing off the top of this pennant pattern. But we do have some resistance at around 290. So that's a good area to watch. And again, I think this will similarly be dependent on the market, the overall market, Bitcoin and Ethereum. So Pirate Chain. <laughs> hey, I have to give Pirate credit. So uh, we broke above two. We're holding above two. It's not looking 
anything too exciting, but we did break above too. So I'm hoping to get above this $2.10 resistance, bring us above this 20 EMA. Uh, so really technical showing a neutral. This could go either way at this point. I, I have to point out, oh, unfortunately, yeah, we are still in a downtrend. So until we have some clear reversal, it's really hard to say. Uh, it's really hard to get bullish and put on the larger position. But again, uh, there's a website, armada.com, A-R-R-R-M-A-D-A.com. You can actually use Pirate to uh, trade, or if you if you own a business, you can sell on that website. Uh, then there's also Wrapped Pirate Chain on the, uh, I think it's on the, B, the Binance Smart Chain, I believe, actually. Um, and so there's a lot going on with this fundamentally. So, yeah, just holding here, hoping to stay above this level and try and squeeze out a reversal here and get this trend going in the right direction. So Darrow, Darrow's an interesting one. We had this head and shoulders play out. Here's the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder. But it didn't really collapse as I had somewhat anticipated when you see coins make such a large move as Darrow has coming down from less than a dollar up to 28 bucks. I would have expected a sharper pullback. Uh, but so now we are in a downtrend. We're in this channel, but it's showing relative strength. We're not, it's not crashing as I would have expected after that large of a run up. And you do have a buy on the technical indicator. Uh, so this one I'm just watching closely. We are still in that downtrend, but we broke above that 20 EMA. If we can pop back above one of these previous highs, uh, this thing has consolidated a while, so it's really had some time to rest. So as of now, we're still in a downtrend, but if we did pop above a previous high, it's it would show the potential for another move to the upside. So that's it for the cryptos. I just wanted to take a look at the overall stock market here. Uh, this is the Vanguard Total World Index. So here we're overbought. This, it's just, uh, I don't even know. <laughs> I hate looking at this. It's It's awful. I mean, this is going up every single day. We did lose momentum here and, and rolled over and just popped right back up. Um, so, yeah, there's still a buy here. Personally, I wouldn't touch this thing, though. The dividend's like, I think, 1% or something. I, I just, it's unbelievable what the, what the central banks are doing right now. And that they've been planning for a long time. This is no accident. Absolutely no accident. I'm sure they're trying to help the economy though, right? That's why they're doing all these. Anyway. Um, so I just wanted to also bring up this new, uh, basically what they're saying is a law coming with the infrastructure bill. So given that we've had such a large run-up recently, when we've had already a large move and we could be exhausting buyers and having profit-taking take place, we also at the same time have this supposed bill coming in place, which would amend the tax code and make failure by businesses and individuals to report digital asset transactions a criminal offense. Um, and so they're calling basically any digital asset, they're putting that within the definition of cash. Now, from my understanding, previously, they were saying that digital assets, that cryptos, were 
in fact, that. They were assets, and therefore they would be taxed by capital gains, which would make transacting in the real economy, buying a coffee, if you have to do the tax capital gains calculation for everything you buy, um, it makes it impossible to basically use. And so I don't know how they're trying to do this. And on one hand, it's an asset, but you know, when it's convenient for them, it's cash. So, uh, but this is a risk on the horizon. So definitely keep a watch for this if you see any pullbacks it may be worth looking into the news and seeing if there's any new information on this uh, one other thing i wanted to get into that absolutely blew my mind was you know the world economic forum with these nice sixes here uh, and their corporate partners i knew they had corporate partners but i did not know to what extent i mean so these are the A's. <laughs> um, yeah, Alibaba. We've got Amazon. Um, Anglo American. All these companies. So yeah, these are just the A's. It almost seems as if it's almost every major international company the bank of america bank of china basf that's the largest chemical company in the world bayer monsanto blackrock blackstone yeah so that's just the bees i mean cisco all these places um, cargill So yeah, this this blew my mind actually. This is this is crazy. In my opinion, these companies should be boycotted as much as possible. It's it may not be completely possible. It, it's hard to even remember all of these companies in order to be boycotting them. And they're just entwined so much in society. You got Google, Goldman Sachs, So yeah, it just goes on and on and on. Nestle, not surprising there. Nokia, Novartis. But yeah, we've, a lot of what's going on, we've allowed this. We've done this to ourselves. We're supporting these companies. And now they're combining with this, whatever this is, public-private partnership. And it appears they have, obviously, most, most entities have their own interests in mind. And the only way to improve the situation that's going on peacefully is going to be starving them out. So that is what I'm going to try and do myself. And it's, uh, it's a difficult feat, and most people don't care enough. But, yeah, things could be much better if, if we boycotted these companies and keep the cash amongst ourselves and start building up our own small businesses, transacting with each other. There's so many technologies now, 3D printing. We can... We've got our own currencies. We've got our own decentralized finance. We have everything we need to build peer-to-peer -peer networks and get some of these places, some of these entities out of our lives. And I think it could be awesome. So, yeah, please let me know what you think. Uh, if anyone has any information on any of this, go ahead and leave a comment. I'm always interested to hear what people are thinking. If there's any coins you want me to cover or that you think are have the potential to uh, make some serious gains, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to cover them. So take care, everyone. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.